Wow, like really? You see, as an advocate for relationships and marriages, I stand for truth. Like I've always said in most of my programs on Facebook, because that's where I really do live shows and, you know, this and that. This kind of video that I'm making today, I should have actually done on Facebook for a live show. But the reason why I'm bringing it about here today is that I want YouTube people to be able to view this. For those that are not following me on Facebook and slash Instagram to also benefit from this video. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Please, if you're coming across my video for the first time, subscribe, like, comment below. Follow us on Instagram slash Facebook. A story just coming to us. A story just reaching me right now and I talk to share here. I talk about our brothers in Europe and their behaviors, not being faithful to their wives and to their submitting to their relationships. This is really bad and it is actually destroying a lot of homes today. A brother right now in Norway has just been kicked out of the home. A brother right now is on the street of Norway looking for a woman to take him in. A lady who was married to an old Norway guy, after years, this guy had passed on, leaving her with a daughter. Then she met a guy on Facebook who happened to be living in Nigeria, Benin to be precisely. They chatted for about a year and a half. They fell in love and she decided to go home and marry the guy. They went on chatting after she came back. After about two years, she then decided to bring him over to join her in Norway. This guy brought into Norway and was given a paper. Finally, they also had a child together. Suddenly, he has started cheating with a Zimbabwean way uh, woman. Cheating wasn't even enough. But then this girl goes to work and then he brings the Zimbabwe girl to the home where he is actually living with his wife. This isn't good. I might be quiet telling this story in a, a calm way, but the news is just not good. It's not even good for anyone to hear. Let me speak up a bit. It is not a good one. Okay. He has actually been sneaking this girl in and out. And every other time this girl comes in, he kind of, you know, take all, takes all the wedding photos and children photos out of the house. And the children has also gone to school. The other one, probably the younger one, whom, which is, whom is just about a year, has gone to, you know, a daycare or whatever, whatever. And then he gets to take everything down. Now, you see, when God wants to expose somebody, it takes just one second, not even a minute. So a white woman who happened to be living in the same estate where this guy is living with his wife and two children had been seeing another lady coming in and out after this lady has actually gone to work. She then had to raise alarm and called the owner of the house, being the lady who is working. She's a healthcare worker like me. Okay. And then she raised alarm and then told her what had been happening and they planned. Then the next time this Zimbabwe woman that he's cheating 
the Nigerian woman with had actually planned, went to work on that day, planned to come home at a certain time, the hour when this girl normally comes. She came in, they were together, making out, doing their things as usual, not knowing that the madam who owns the house was on her way back. As an owner of the house, she's got the key, so she was able to open the door and went in, only for her to catch her husband, her supposed husband, whom she had actually gone out to Nigeria to marry and bring into the country. She caught him red-handed with another woman from Zimbabwe in their bedroom. Like seriously? <laughs> Shocking, shocking, shocking. The Zimbabwean girl had no clue that this guy was even married. So she ran away. She left them to it. This girl then had to kick this other guy out. And stupidly, rather than begging, appealing to her, apologizing, see how things can get back to normal he was trying to do gragra what we call in african like you know to play tough i'm tough i'm tough i can do this i have a, a first paper because in the norwegian country they don't give you all the papers at once in fact i think it's the same with any other european country they give you papers stage by stage in fact he had only just gotten the first stage of the paper and he was like dragging with this girl already so she was kicked out of after out of the house now he's around the street of Norway, rooming about, looking for another girl to bring him in. Even the one he was cheating the wife with ha does not want to do, have anything to do with him again. You see, guys, the worst part of this story is that this guy started dragging the house whom the old white guy had died and left for this woman which has now provoked the government to try revoking the you know resident first stage of resident permit that they had actually given to him too bad listen guys I'm just doing this video now as the story is reaching me to create awareness for our brothers to know even for our women not just the brothers women also need to know that these things exist and they should stop doing things like this people cannot be ungrateful after a woman or a man had gone to Africa, marry somebody and bring to the country for you and that person to share a life together only for you to find out that behind you that person cheating is cheating. Not only cheating, but cheating in your home. Please, let's learn from other people's mistakes so it doesn't happen to us. Thank you so very much, my viewers, for watching. I remain your girl, Stella F. Amaka from Star TV UK Talk Show. God bless.